Hello, on to the third week of the USA MLS predictions there. So let's have a look back what happened in week two of games out in the USA. So, matches we got for you, all these games here. So, no England and Chicago was a 1 1 draw. With Busca and Vaughn Stein on the score sheet. And same number of shots with Chicago each unit on shots on target. Next match, Will Salt Lake and New York Red Bulls, 1 1 draw. Yepes, 13th minutes before Quillage, 91st minutes goal. So 21 to 4 shots for Will Salt Lake and 5 to 2 on target as well. The Spanish has snatched it at the death for a point for that match. Next game, another draw, 2 2 draw between the Dallas and Montreal Impact. Montreal Impact, UT scored a couple of goals before Andrasek and Pepe on the score sheets very late on. And more shots, more on target for Dallas as well, too. DC United, 2 1 winners over Inter Miami. After Inter Miami opened the scoring very early on with Pizzerio, and then Assad and Brilliant turned things around. Tolway's sent off for Inter Miami, 15 8 shots for them. And 5 to 3 on target for Inter Miami. Make sure that the chat is going so no one's making the comments. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, the next game Toronto won their winners over New York with uh, Power. On the score sheet, 83 minutes, 18 to 11 shots, 9 to 3 on target for Toronto there. Quite a few games to have a look at. Atalanta, 2 1 winners over Cincinnati for Barco and Hodgman. On the score sheet, Kubo for Cincinnati. Cincinnati with more shots and same number on target there. Next game. It's the highest goal scoring game of the lot. 5 2 winners for Minnesota there. No power. Grey Gus, Amelia, and Lod on the score sheet. Ewitson and. Kwa Zash Billy on the score sheet there for St. Joe's. 20 to 18 shots, 10 to 6 on target for Minnesota. Next game. Sporting Kansas 4 0 winners over Houston Dynamo. Having Polido, Esposana, Kinder, and Shelton on the score sheet for Sporting Kansas. More shots and more on target for Sporting Kansas as well, too. Next match. Oh, mess it up completely. Uh, Colorado 2 1 winners over Orlando City with Namely and Moore scoring in the last minutes after Murillia scored for Orlando and the slightly more shots there for Orlando. Seattle Sanders and Columbus was a 1 1 draw with Zardes for Columbus. And Wu Dias for a Seattle. 16 to 5 shots and 3 each on target. So Seattle Sanders with more of the opportunities. And the final match on Sunday there was Vancouver 1 0 winners over LA Galaxy with wickets scoring the goal for Vancouver, which was just before Kona got sent off for Galaxy. Same number of shots, more on tight for Vancouver, so a bit of a surprise on that particular match. And there was a couple of Monday games. Portful beating Nashville, 1-0 winners. Valier on the score sheet for Portland. 
even though Nashville dominating the opportunities there. And the final match, save for the best game for last there, 3-3, three, three, Los Angeles and Philadelphia there, with Santos, Glesnes and Allenson scoring the goals for Philadelphia, Vela, Royce and Segaya scoring for Los Angeles. And more opportunities for Los Angeles for that match. So here we go for the third week of games. So preview all these matches over here. they got coming up all 12 games using this website here. But first look at how people got on with their predictions from last time. For me, I managed to get 6 games out of those 13 correct. With Chicago and New England. One got Will Salt Lake in New York, correct. Got DC United winning, got Toronto winning, got Atlanta winning. I had Kansas winning, and I also had Portland winning. So, not the best. Seven incorrect. And so this time, Gatman managed to join me for a few of those matches. Uh, seven in total, if that's so. Once he managed to do. He got Atlanta winning Kuwait, he got Kansas winning Kuwait, and he also got Seattle winning Kuwait there. So, similar on the percentages overall for the sweep matches. But here we are, starting off with New York against Dallas on this website here. So, since 2015, one win each and three draws. And yeah, so New York, three run winners, and then those three draws in the midst there. And it's a bit too early probably to have a look at the table still, only playing two games the other season. I'm not going to have a look at it, because there's not too much points at these early stages. So this is the information we got on, and the fact that New York are the favourites at $1.72, four dollars for Dallas, and three sixty for the draw. Um, so for this game here, I'm going to go for New York to edge it, two goals to one. Next game we got Inter Miami against LA Galaxy. So, Inter Miami, favourites at $2, well LA Galaxy, $3.25 to claim this victory. $3.60 for the draw as well too. So let's get that match up and running. And yeah, I believe what Inter Miami is one of the two new USA league teams for the season there. So just a couple of matches that they played there recently, um, as you can see here. So 1-0 defeats against Los Angeles and a 2-1 defeat against DC United. So not the best of starts. And LA Galaxy are one of the sides that's supposed to be having a pretty good season, I believe. But they also suffered a defeat in their last match as well, too. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with it for LA Galaxy to claim the victory away from home against Inter Miami, even as underdogs. Going to go for a 2-0 mm, victory for LA Galaxy on this one. Next match, then. We got Toronto and Nashville playing against each other. So let's get that one up and running. So dollar thirty-three for Toronto and seven dollars fifty for Nashville. So big underdog to this game and four dollars fifty for the draw. Um, was Nashville one of the other new teams as well too for the season? Possibly could be. Um, see if I get in the white version of the Nashville up and running. Nashville, Toronto, so this one here. So yeah, it will be no history here. So Nashville must be one of the new sides for the season as well too. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look at the, how these teams got on the couple of games that they play this season. 
So, Toronto 2 2 draw against St. Joe's, 1 0 winners against New York. Well, Nashville, how uh, they've been performing briefly. Um, and oh, yes. Uh, well, let's just get up the table here. Table. Oh, matches. Sorry, just bear with me. Um, so Nashville, yeah, they lost against Portland 1-0. And they also... Where are they? Back over here, 2-1 defeats against Atlanta there. So just one goal of losses. So they've been in the games... But ultimately, you think, yeah, it's one to out of the stronger opposition being the heavy favourites for this game. So, yeah, got to go that for Toronto. 3 uh, 0 winners for Toronto. Let's go for Next game, we've got Columbus and Will Salt Lake. Dollar 67 for Columbus, 4.33 for Will Salt Lake. And three dollars seventy five for the draw. So what do we think about this particular match here? Let's get the heavy records back up and running as we're back to the traditional sides for the MLS. So if he hits this one here. So 10 wins for Columbus, 9 wins for Royal Salt Lake, and 5 draws, going back to 2006. And yeah, we some matches, Royal Salt Lake winning the last one, but Columbus, a couple wins and 3 draws there for Uh So yeah, Columbus seems like they might slightly edge it very early on in the season. Um, this match seems like it could possibly be a draw involved as well too. So yeah, let's go for a 1-1 draw for this game here. Still pretty early to really know how these sides are getting on there. So feel free to put your thoughts information on particular teams and players that they got to have a bit more of a look at. But yeah, just getting used to this league for the First major time, got to have a brief look at the MOS over the years, but without like week to week basis, like I'm doing this season. Okay, so the next game is Cincinnati against DC United. And I completely butchered the Cincinnati spelling there. Uh, so, Cincinnati, there we go. Close enough. Oh. Maybe not. Two wins, one A. FC Cincinnati. That should be the one. Okay, so Cincinnati favourites at two dollars three twenty four DC United, and it's three dollars sixty four the draw. Hit the records. Just the one but three for DC United. And the one draw for these teams. Coming back last season, 0 0 draw and a 4 1 win for DC United. Cincinnati, here I believe they finished bottom of the league last season, so I don't really want to back them to get the victory here. So I am going to go for the away side, DC United, uh, to get themselves a 3 1 victory this time around. So next match I have for you is Atlanta against Sporting Kansas. So let's get that one up and running, shall we? So Atlanta at home are the favourites at $1.91 for Sporting Kansas. $3.50 for the odds and $3.40 for the draw. Hit record for these sides. One win each and one draw, so completely split. So we got one game 2017, one in 2018, one in 2019. 3-0 win for Atlanta, a 2-0 win for Sporting Kansas, 1-1 draw. 
they must fight each other once because there's this two divisions in the MOS with the Eastern and Western conferences and for if you're in your own conference you get to play each other twice while if you're in the other conference you have inter-conference battles but only playing each other once there so I believe these two sides will be in different conferences. Uh, so Atlanta being at home I'm uh, going to go for them to pull off the victory in this one and also I believe they got two wins out of two the other season so doing quite well. So Atlanta, um, hmm, let's go for a 2 0 win for Atlanta here. Next match we have Vancouver against Colorado. So this match pretty similar on the odds. Vancouver slight favourites at two dollars fifty. Wow, it's two dollars sixty for Colorado, and it's three dollars thirty for the draw. So Vancouver Whitecaps, they are a Canadian side that plays in the USA there, so a little bit different. Or plays in the USA division. I presume they still play in Canada though. So we got 10 wins for Colorado, 9 wins for Vancouver and 5 draws going back to 2011. And we got Vancouver with 3, 4 victories and a couple of draws there while Colorado only pulled up 1 victory in recent few seasons. So I've got quite a bit more information for you there. So Got to favour Vancouver if you are going to favour anyone at all, and they are at home. So, going to give them the victory here. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 victory for Vancouver for this match. Next game, we have Philadelphia against St. Joe's. Philadelphia are our favourites at $1.72. Well, St. Joe's, 4 to 1 odds to get the win. And it's three dollars seventy-five for the draw. So Philadelphia Union is the team. Yep. Against St. Joseph Earthquakes there, not with a great last name for them there, as they have previously experienced earthquakes in the stadium before. So yeah, sort of fits in nicely, I guess, at times. So four wins each in four draws. So that is split. And Philadelphia, three wins, three draws in the past six matches. You have to go back to 2013, the last time St. Joe's Earthquakes managed to get the victory. So, two one victories and one one draw are on the midst there. Those are your two different school options, it appears to be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a one one draw just to keep up a few different draws on my predictions there. So next match we have Orlando against Chicago. So Orlando are the favourites at home at two dollars twenty-five for this game, while Chicago at two dollars eighty to get themselves the victory, and three dollars forty for the draw. So Orlando City against Chicago Fire. Like the Chicago Fire name a lot better there. Let's see. Six wins for Chicago Fire, two wins for Orlando City, and five draws, going back to 2013. Recent matches, Chicago Fire, four wins in the past five games, also four draws in the midst. Orlando City, last time they won, a 1-0 victory away from home in 2015. So, yeah, for this game, going to go for Chicago Fire. Last time was a 5-2 epic win, so hopefully we see quite a few goals. I haven't gone with too many goals in my predictions so far, but let's go for an entertaining 4-2 win for Chicago and for them to be on fire for this game here. So i got three games left for you for week three of the MLS. Next up we have Houston Dynamo against Seattle Sanders. So $2.30 for Houston Dynamo and $2.80 for Seattle Sanders. 
and it's three dollars like thirty for the draw. But let's get this game up. And let's just check the chat there. No one else has been making any comments. Cool. Yeah, so I've been testing out this OBS studio there recently, so it's how you're able to see these screens for the first time this week. But uh, yeah, feel free to get involved and share in the comments if you're watching this live at all. So Seattle Sanders, 13 wins, 5 wins for Houston and 7 draws going back to 2009 there. Recent matches, scored down here for all matches timeline. Uh, Seattle with winning the last, what, 7 in a row there, so completely domination over Houston and this one might be a really good one, good pick for a bit of an upset at 2 like 80 odds against Houston who are the favourites at 2 or 30 but they haven't won since 2017 there. So I've got to go for Seattle Sanders with a good hit head record. Um, let's go for a hmm, uh, 2 1 victory for Seattle Sanders. Next match we have New England against Portland. So New England other favourites at a dollar eighty three. Well Portland three dollars sixty odds for themselves. And it's three dollars sixty for the draw for this match as well too. So New England resolution or revolution against Portland Timbers. Um you might want to have more of a revolution than you want to deal with firewood and timbers. So two wins for Portland Timbers, one win for New England and seven draws along the way. And it's been four draws in the past four games, one one three times, two two last time round. And 2 0 1 for Portland, and 2 draws before that. So, so many draws between these two sides. So, this match got a back a draw here. Uh, but let's go for an entertaining 2 2 draw being a Monday match. Hopefully, there's more goals on Monday. And last game, we got Minnesota and New York Red Bulls. Minnesota are the favourites at home at $1.83. Well, New York Red Bulls, $3 for the odds, and it's $3.60 for the draw. So let's get this last match up and running. So Minnesota United is their club name, but boring compared to Red Bulls. So it's more exciting like Red, uh, like Salzburg, for example, there. So New York Red Bulls, two wins, Minnesota one but to be since 2017. Recently Minnesota managed to win last time round, two one winners, but before that New York Red Bulls, three nil winners on both occasions. Um, I am going to go for New York Red Bulls, they keep themselves an upset but to be away from my home here. I'm uh, going to go for a two nil victory this time around. And that completes my week 3 email predictions there. Feel free to put your own reports and predictions down below there. And if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and comment below anything else you want to discuss. And also check out all my other prediction videos, a whole bunch of European predictions. There's also some club series videos. Better do some more Olympic videos as well too that's coming up and yeah some other live watch ones with the A-League so feel free to check them out as well too if you're interested. Otherwise be back again here for week 4 next time around and it's a brief look at the table before we go so it's Atlanta again at the top of the Eastern Conference. The only side the match to win two games so far. Got New York Red Bulls much well impact towards the top as well. At the bottom, got Cincinnati, Inter Miami, and New York at this very early stage. For the Western Conference, got Sporting Kansas, Minnesota, Colorado, with two wins out of two. And towards the bottom, got Nashville, who is two losses from two. 
So that's the situation so far. But I'm sure things will change quite dramatically once we get a few other matches under our belt. But until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.